Welcome back. Super excited moving forward. In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how do you go about changing your background color or your text color. So, for instance, we have this text called Paydesk or the text Hello World. So, we have two text boxes within our main activity screen. So, if I like to change the color of the text itself or just the background of this text view, I could do so. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate shortly. So let's jump right in and let's navigate first to the XML for this particular activity. And I'm going to demonstrate using the XML so that I want to make sure that you are also comfortable within the XML environment and not just visually changing the text view or the image view and so forth. So what you need to do is navigate to the text tab once you're in the activity underscore main.xml file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on text, and this takes me to the XML. Now, all I have to do is just let me make this bigger. You can actually see. Let me zoom in. All right, so there we go. Perfect. So let's say we have this text box called Claydesk, which is the text box on the top that you see. If I zoom in more, you will notice that this text box is or the text within the text box is first not in the center, okay? So it's aligned left from within this box. And secondly, it doesn't have any color nor the text color is any different. It looks like a gray color. So if I were to select this text box, my XML shows the values or the attributes. So if I were to take a look at each of these attributes, for instance, first attribute within this text box, or the text view is the Android colon text. Now, of course, the text is the default text that I'm using, and it's the at string because that's the actual string that I'm using, right? So I'm not hard coding. I'm actually doing a great job in working with XML and following the best practices. So this is the text that is being displayed, which is fine. And then, of course, I have my layout width, the layout height, and then my ID, which is again reusable at any point or any other or layouts that I choose to, and then several other attributes. So in order to change the text color or the background and add additional attributes, all I would have to do is just enter some more XML code. So let's do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just enter here. And as soon as I type Android, the Android Studio recognizes that I'm about to do something, right? Or add additional attributes. So it brings a drop down list of all of the attributes that I can see. So I can scroll down and I can pick and choose any one of these that I want to work with. Of course, there's several of these, okay? And depending on the type of box that you're using, you can select the appropriate attribute. In this instance, I'm looking for the text color. So I can navigate directly to text color within the drop down list, or I can keep typing Android, right? Colon, and so forth. So if I were to just simply select the text color and hit the enter key, it fills up the actual attribute and then provides me additional options such as what kind of color do I want for the text? So I could, of course, navigate to the drawable blog folder because that's not really a color, that's an image, right? I can also choose the color accent and color primary. And these are the colors that are being defined within my colors.xml file. Now, where is the colors.xml file? So before I do this, I'm gonna leave it blank at this point and navigate to the left navigation pane under values. And here's the color.xml file, which contains my primary color, my color accent, any other colors that you wish to store within the XML file so that you can reuse them within your app design. So let me in fact open this colors.xml up and you'll notice there are three colors at this point. I have a primary color, which is number sign 008577. That's the color code palette. 
and then the primary dark and color accent. And on the left, you see the colors themselves. For instance, the color accent is looks like a, a red or magenta or something like that. I can click on this, and this brings up the material pink. It tells me what color it is. So it's material pink 600, and then here's the color code. So I can choose the color code. I can copy it. So do a control C after highlighting it. And I can change the color here as well. So if I were to change a different color, I could pick and choose. So let's cancel. So I just want to show you the colors.xml file, which is under the values folder, where you can add additional colors so you can reuse them within your app design as you build more and more activity pages. So let's navigate back to activity main. Bigger. There we go. Perfect. So notice the Android color is blank, and you'll notice that the text has disappeared. So we don't see the word clear ask anymore. It just says text view. And the reason because it's not pulling up the binary XML and it's trying to refresh and kind of find the color. But since we have not specified or completed the attribute at this point in time. So let me go ahead and in fact choose a color that I wish to use for the text. Okay. We know that it's still using the same word clit S because it's pulling from the string itself. So not to worry here. But as soon as I enter the color, you'll notice the color change back to this. So what is the color code and how do I go about changing or finding the color code that I want to use? So maybe you do not want to use your primary colors that we took a look at in the colors.xml file. Maybe there are other colors. There's a great resource that I would like to demonstrate where you can go online and find uh, different kinds of color codes and kind of shows you the actual combination of colors as well. So as you're developing your app or you're designing your app, you can choose those combinations. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my browser. So let's pull this up. And what you need to do is just navigate to material.io site. So enter this URL and it'll take you to this site. And this is a great site where you can actually make you know nice products faster. Material is a design system. It's backed by the open source code. So the three options on the menu here you'll see design develop and tools so i'm going to click on design so i'd like to navigate to the color palette and once you click on design on the left navigation you will need to simply choose color and then select the color system so once you select the color system you will notice that you'll be displayed with several contents such as color usage and palettes color theme creation and tools for picking colors so if you were to click on any one of them, you can just kind of explore this site by yourself. It's fairly straightforward. The important thing here is you can really pinpoint the select primary and secondary colors and then generate the light and dark variants of each. And for this, you need to use the material design palette tool. Okay, so it's pretty robust and very powerful. So if you scroll down and you can find the color tool here, as well up on the menu and kind of go into tools and find the color palette tool. But the baseline material color, for example, it shows you the color codes, the primary, primary variant of the blue color, similarly secondary and secondary variant. Because in your app design, you wish to use a nice combination of colors. You don't want to go yellow, red, blue, brown, right? So you want to use the variants. So this is a good site where it shows you the actual color codes for using the primary or secondary and variants as well. Similarly, background surface and then error colors, your primary and secondary. And you can scroll down and take a look at it. There's it's an excellent resource, by the way. It shows you your primary purple, for example, that displays on the top, and then your menu, and then the actual content of your app design. And again, I'll give you this homework, so to speak, so you can kind of explore this. And if you have any questions, of course, post them in the discussion. But here, for example, I'm just going to use and select the color. So I'm maybe going to use number 3700B. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate back to my studio and simply going to enter 3700B3. And you'll notice it will automatically display the color for us. Doesn't have to be all uppercase, it can be even lowercase, it will still detect. 
So now, congratulations, you've successfully changed the text color within XML. Similarly, if I need to change or add another attribute such as Android, and I want to use the background, so I can just type a few letters and it just picks up. It's really helpful that way. So I'm going to use Android background, and then I can either choose the color primary for the background, color accent. If I don't see them here, then I would have to enter my own value. So let's go back to our color palette. Let's select a background for us. So maybe you want to use a different background. How about number sign B000? Zero. Enter it here and it changes the background. Okay. Now, once you have the background, you can always click on the color boxes here on the left and bring up the color palette. And here you can, of course, change it, change it to a different category like RGB colors, HSB, or ARGB. You can click anywhere on this and it's going to choose that color for you. So, if I were to navigate and just kind of scroll down or uh, even select the hue, for instance, or the opacity for the color, I could do so. So again, I have, I have several techniques or options available. It just depends on your own requirement for your own project. So if I were to choose this color code, for example, click Choose, it's going to change to that color. And then I can simply enter the new color code, and it's going to change to that color. So once again, it's really up to you as what you really wish to do. And again, if you need to go back, just do a control Z, which is undo, and it's going to undo. Similarly, the text color can always be rechanged. If you want to change it to all white, you can just have to do, I believe it's all Fs, right? Perfect. And similarly, I can add additional attributes, such as if I like to center the text. Notice the orientation is on the left, this text box. I could add additional text alignment, text size. So again, if I type a one letter, it just brings up all of the attributes that start with the letter T. So I could say all caps if I need to make the all caps for this, text size, text alignment. So if I choose text alignment, then it gives me the options, gravity, center, inherit, text end, text start, and so on. And again, I'm going to use center, but you can choose and, of course, take a look at other areas as well. So once you select center, it's going to center the text. Perfect. So that way, you get an idea, right? You can change the colors, you can change the background just for this text view. Remember, we're just working with this particular text view. So if I were to now go back to my design tab, you will notice that my app is, or my page, the design is looking pretty nice. So go ahead, practice with this. Post any questions that you have, I'll be happy to answer. And with this, let's move to the next lesson.